Activities in Global ICM are based on classroom tested techniques. In fact, many of these activities were originally designed as starters for writing projects, which we will talk about in another video. All 95 Global ICM World History activities have a context building background, a source or sources, an opinion poll, and a five point question quiz poll. You make these available to students by hiding and unhiding. Here by clicking on this icon, the color denotes it is now visible to students on the, on the student portal. By clicking again, making it go dark, the item is now hidden from the students. And you can also go over here and drag over an activity quiz that could be done at home for the students. 16 of these World History Activities have a fourth kind of assessment called Analyze the Evidence. Analyze the Evidence has an analytical question, and then it usually has a graphic organizer and sometimes a written instructions assessment. Students can actually analyze and read the evidence more effectively with these activities. Many of these in world history are comparative analysis. You also have the option of creating your own Analyze the Evidence. Simply hide everything except the background and the source. Then go over to Activities and Resources and create your own assessment with short answer question. So I've created one here for you so that you can see. Drag and drop it over. And here's an alternative assignment that you could use of your own making. We have found in Global ICM that students have very little experience of analysis and real effective use of sources prior to coming to college. So it's very important at the lower division to be working with students on these kinds of activities. Perhaps one of the most exciting things with our activities and their various assessment is the ability to use the assessments with groups. This is why we developed a built-in software for group grading. You can actually do group grading with any feature in Global ICM that has an assessment setting window. And you know this by looking at this assessment setting cog. Okay, so for example, you can use it with a reading quiz. You can use it with an activity quiz. You can use it with an analyze the evidence. You can use it with a short answer created by the instructor in our activities and resources. Anything that has this cog can be used with group grading. When you set an assessment, select the option that says, make this a group graded assignment. You will be given an instructor dashboard where all of the student names in your course are randomly assigned to two groups. Indicate the number of groups you want, such as five. And update. Now the students will be put into five groups. There's also a holding pin for students who may be dropping the course, may be still in the course, you never quite know with some students. But essentially, all the students are in the proper, appropriate groups. The first student in each group is the student leader. The other students are in the group, and they can work with that group leader. But only the group leader can submit the answer to whatever the assessment is. You can also move the students around. You can make different people group leaders. And if you have a suspicion about a student not being in your class anymore, you can move them over into the holding pin. Our easy grader works well with group grading. Over here, you can see that the group grading icon is attached to this activity. You come over here, you go to the easy grader, and then you go and you click down to find your groups. So I've highlighted group number five. 
Notice now that we've got our group leader, Tatiana, identified with this icon, and then the other two students, and then a fourth student, Iris Jerky, who did not participate. The students who are not the group leaders have got to go and check into the activity in order to get credit. So this system identifies the ones who checked in from the ones who did not check in. Now, Tatiana has filled out this assignment. You can go ahead and you can bring over comments you can click on the information and create the comments. Then you can go ahead and uh, give a grade. We'll go ahead and give this nine points and submit to the gradebook. Now go back to the gradebook. And here you can see in Hammurabi's Analyze Evidence, Tatiana, the group leader who submitted it, received nine points, but so also did these two other students. And the student, Iris, who did not participate, did not check in on the assignment, in the specified time did not receive any credit. Our group grading software can be used in conjunction with the breakout sessions feature in Zoom and other e-conference technologies for online classes that really need more of this interaction. You can see down here your breakout room option. Ask our faculty support for a further explanation of the easiest way to set this up between Global ICM and Zoom.